God, we finna get right into it. Seven habits that's gonna keep you poor. Let's get right into it. Seven things poor people do that the rich don't. Number one, poor people watch TV and rich people read books. How many hours you spend in front of the TV and when was the last fucking time you read a book? How many books do you read per year? Number two. And a lot of people don't read books at all. You see, um, there's so much vast knowledge in books and so much information that you could acquire from books. But a lot of people, they would rather be on Netflix and uh, things like that. And um, that's the number one thing that successful people do is read books, always gaining knowledge and applying that knowledge. Poor people get paid based on time. Rich people get paid based on results. Let's say you're working at McDonald's. You may be the best floor cleaner on the planet ever, but what value do you bring to McDonald's? Rich people, we get paid based on results, not time invested. Let's say we're working on a product. We spend a year creating, perfecting the product. We bring it to the marketplace and it sucks. It bombs. It doesn't make us a dime. The world doesn't give a fuck. We don't make money. Nobody cares how much time, blood, sweat, and tears we put into creating a product and bring it to the marketplace. How much risk that we take. They don't care. What they care is results. That's why the highest pay athletes in the world they don't get paid by how many hours they practice, how many times they invested. No, it is how much they perform. They get paid based on performance. Number. And that's another key right there. Um, the rich and wealthy, they're not getting paid by the hour. They're not getting paid by the time. Um, so for me personally, I always want to have passive income. I'm making money while I sleep. That's one of my biggest goals. Um, the rich, they don't trade their time for money. That's something that uh, poor people do and the working people do. And a lot of people think that's the only way to make money, but it's really not. Three, poor people, they blame others for their misfortunes. Rich people, we take responsibility for our own failures. You see, for poor people, it's always somebody else's fault. It's the economy. It's the government. It's my boss, it's my job, it's my city, it's my neighbor, it's my friends. It's always somebody else. It's never their own fucking fault. Rich people, we take responsibility. If your life stinks, it's your fault. We take responsibility for our own action. When you take responsibility, what happens is you gain power. The power to change. The power to do something different. Remember, lame people blame people. Number four. And that's something that I find myself doing, you know, um, when I look at the circumstances that I'm in, uh, it's so easy to blame, um, to blame things instead of just taking accountability for it and uh, taking your failures, failures and learning from them. Number four, poor people focus on saving and rich people focus on investing. You know what? Don't drink that Starbucks coffee in the morning. Try to save a few dollars and here and there. Well, you know, don't fly first class, fly economy. Always try to save a few dollars. Well, here's the thing. A penny saved is still a fucking penny. You're not gonna get rich by trying to save a few bucks. You don't have a saving problem, you have an income problem. You need to earn a lot more money so you could invest. Number and that's another nugget right there. Um, a lot of people think they don't get rich by saving money. One of the things that uh, I had to learn to do is say, you know what, instead of saving this money, just having a bank sitting there, um, let me find out a way to generate more money by using my money. Um, you know what they say, uh, scare money don't make no money. So you have to learn that, hey, sometimes you have to take risks and um, instead of saving that money, just have it sent in a bank, you know, go ahead and uh, invest it in something and let that money work for you and grow. Number five, poor people, they know it all. Rich people continuously to learn. You see, poor people are always very opinionated. They always want to tell the world about their opinions, about politics, about sports, about the society, about the government, about every single thing that's around them versus being humble, willing to learn. Rich people, we're always learning. We're asking questions. We are listening. We are reading books. 
continuous learning versus saying that I have a God an opinion about fucking everything. You know why they always have an opinion, poor people? Because the only way they get a little bit of fucking attention. No different. I can see people, they're watching my video, watching my sales video, closing video, and I just look at that and I laugh. And they comment, oh Dan, you shouldn't close this way. You should close that way. Just say this. When was the last time you fucking closed something? Show me. When was the last time you closed something for five hundred fucking dollars, one thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars? What the fuck have you done? So your opinion doesn't count. Remember, your income can only grow to the extent that you do. Your wealth can only grow as fast as you do. No. And um, just to touch on that, um, if you look at the most successful people. Um, they have a team around them. It's not them claiming that they know everything, trying to do everything. They get the people that know a lot more than them to do what they need them to do. It's not, I don't know nothing about accounting, but um, I'm going to run my own books. That's a quick way to get yourself audited, right? So let's get into it. Number six, poor people believe that money is the root of all evil. Rich people, we believe that poverty is the root of all evil. You've heard of the saying, money is the root of all evil. No, lack of money is the root of all evil. I want you to look at the poorest neighborhoods. I want you to think about those areas. Crime, drug, problems, all kinds of issues. You see, in the history of mankind, no bank's been robbed by someone pulling up in a Rolls Royce. It is the survival, it's the lack of money that's causing the issue. Money itself is neutral. Money is like a tool. You can use it for good or you can use it for evil. It is all up to you. Um, just to touch on that again, uh, I'm glad he said it because that's one of the points I was going to make. Um, if you go to poverty stricken areas, um, not only the USA, which is the richest country in the world, but just um, anywhere that there's poverty, it's always going to be um, murder, rape, robbery, whatever. So a lot of poor people, they think, there's, it's like they're scared of money, you know? Um, and it's just another excuse to why they don't have it. They'd be like, oh, money's evil, so that's why I don't have it. No, you don't have no money because you don't have no ambitions, you don't have any goals, and you're not doing anything to get the money. Number seven, poor people, they have lottery mentality, and rich people, we have action mentality. You see, most people, they believe the only way to get rich is buying that lottery ticket. Even though they know that the chance of winning is slim to none, but they buy that fantasy. Hopefully, if I win, I'm going to buy that house. I'm going to quit that job. I'm going to take that vacation. No, rich people have an action mentality. We believe if it's going to be, it is up to me. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make myself successful. I don't need to rely on some third party, and I definitely don't need to rely on some lottery ticket. I'm going to make it happen. So those are the seven things that poor people do that the rich don't. Um, just to touch on that, um, some people, there's no real such thing as luck, right? Even if an opportunity comes around and um, you're lucky enough to get that opportunity, I guess you could say, you still have to be prepared for it. Um, a lot of opportunities, a lot of things will pass you by. Some people be like, uh, no, he just got lucky with that. No, he was prepared and he put in the work so that when the opportunity came around, they were able to get take advantage of that. But anyway, like I was saying, that's just seven things that keep poor people poor. And um, some of the things that rich people, you know, they eliminate 